the this right lens review first one ever whatever anyway let's get to it this is yeah great guy flipped it like a thousand times right this is an 18 to 55 when you got it all the way out it goes that far so that's 55 millimeters that's 18 but anyway this is the lens hood pretty easy not too much to deal with this helps block out the flares of light um you know lens cap protected which apparently mine is not protected by any filter or anything it just wipes it off and the last time i try to do this i'm gonna do it again with my shirt anyway um as you can see this tells you now look here this tells you how close you can be you feel me as far as like being in focus this tells you the aperture the lowest aperture that it has now 5.6 is not the lowest aperture this can go up to i think 22 um but you know 18 to 55 like i said and this right here is the measurement for the ring around here so you can add on a filter when you want to put an nd filter on here or a variable nd filter or just a piece of glass that protects it so they don't get hit as you see me i never put a um filter on the joint which i need to do now, going. now the footage that you're pretty much about to start looking at is footage from last summer i got this lens last summer so i think around now would be a great time anytime after the first two months of using a lens is a great time to do a review about it but i'm doing a review on it now so the footage that you see that i'm deciding to actually use um if i throw any other footage on here the main footage that i'm using is a walk around with me my niece and shy the dog um my niece was walking shy and i was carrying the uh feiyu gimbal and i had sony a7s with this lens on the gimbal and i was just you know testing out the autofocus testing out uh to see how it looked how it felt you know because when you buy a lens a lot of times you want it to be like the greatest lens in the world but you never know until you start actually trying it and whether or not the focus works well with the camera and everything you know just everything falls into place how fast the focus works um how close you can be how far you can be just everything matters i think my next lens sony lens anyway is going to be the uh, 18 to 105 i'm going to go for that but this lens probably only ran me like it was a hundred and something i'm gonna be honest with you i found it on a deal i will find a deal somehow some way um but i put the link actually in the description so the link is in the description for the lens um it, like i said I'm, it might have been one something i can't guarantee what the price was fully for me because i bought it last year last summer um so this review right now you will see mainly video footage from what i'm telling you I will do another review of this lens where I will probably say a little bit more or maybe a little bit less because I'm trying to tell you as much as I can tell you right now. As you know, it's an e-mount, you know, yeah, it's an e-mount lens. Um, it comes with this back, but I don't think this is the original back because I have probably like 10 or 15 of these backs and I have a lot of these, they came together in a pack. So I bought a whole bunch of them so I can prepare myself to be having a whole bunch of Sony lenses. But I also have adapters that need them too because I got Canon lenses that I use with this. Now, and this lens goes down to a 3.5. I've used this lens in the dark. And I've used it in the dark in auto. You know, auto. That setting right there. In the green thing, auto. I've used it in, in the dark in that, which I don't really use auto at all. I, as you can see, the camera is in manual. So when I used it in there, I seen something like it was at like uh, I was at like 60. My um, damn it, my um, shutter speed was at 60 frames. The camera put itself at 60. Wait, my bad. It was at 60 frames per second, but the camera put the shutter speed around like 60, and it was like it was crazy. The footage looked just so great, and it was in auto. So I was like, I need to try to like try that. I'm thinking about actually going outside and filming something tonight. So this review is probably going to be like kind of small. What I will tell you though is if you own an e-mount, if you own a Sony e-mount camera, buy this lens. Just buy it, you know, because it's a good lens to have. It's a good backup lens. It's a good wide lens. Just buy it. 
Um, I'm not going to talk to you about chromatic rate, whatever. I'm not going to talk to you about none of that. I'm not going to talk to you about vignetting. None of that. I'm not going to talk to you about none of that because at the end of the day, that comes with a lot of lenses. Like people will say this stuff to you and it will deter you from buying certain things. Um, I also, I'll be doing another review of a 50 millimeter, but I'm going to keep it a thousand with you. I'm going to keep it all the way a thousand with you. You should just buy this lens. There's no reason not to if you own an e mount camera. Buy this lens, buy the 51.8. Um, buy the 10 to 18 certain lenses you should just really just buy just to have if you don't want to keep them then go ahead sell them to somebody else and invest in something else it's, I got another I got a lens that I'm gonna end up selling that I'm gonna invest into a, a another Sony wide where it may be the 10 to 18 or it may be the um, broken on 12 millimeter f2 that I'm thinking about investing into but hope you enjoy the footage that you've seen um, inside and out of me showing you this uh, and at the same time just keep shooting I know that somebody else is lying but I'm really not using it as a line I'm just being honest with you and being encouraging take the lenses and take the cameras that you got and put them together and make something happen be creative as possible as you can do not stop you know what I'm saying do not allow anything to deter you whether it's stress life or whatever it may be when you get a new lens enjoy the fuck out of it excuse my language um i will also be reviewing this lens soon this is a cctv lens this is a 24 1.4 pretty much a creative lens because it creates a big vignette around around everything i only took probably like five pictures with that lens and i need to do some more with it so i'm kind of looking for people to do photo shoots specifically with that lens to see how it works but um this review is at seven minutes i want to end it now like i said great lens comes with this 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 uh it does come with a clean cloth but i don't have it actually with me well i don't have it on me i'm not using it at the moment like i said this is as far as it goes you know you can check out the glass best bet i would say don't do what i didn't do when you get it make sure you get a filter that's 49 mil 49 millimeters to put on there automatically um I have I think one somewhere I'm gonna find it and I'm gonna put it on here but also the 50 millimeter 1.8 shares the same measurements of 49 but I'll be reviewing that later too I have a lot of pictures with that because I like OD with it but this is a great lens to have to be honest with you uh, I was using before I bought this lens I was using an FD lens a 28 millimeter FD lens and I bought this because I wanted it a, a little bit wider something that could fly on my gimbal with the camera and wasn't that heavy this was perfect so if you got a gimbal with a mirrorless camera and it's an e-mount get this lens if you want to go wider like i said it's a 10 to 18 as i think sony has that i'm kind of aiming for or i'm aiming for the two the um the two i'm aiming for the 12 millimeter f2 sam young slash broken on sam young slash broken on lens because they both pretty much make this lens but uh 18 to 55 man this is a dope lens so your homie is out it's wrecked keep being creative live your talent have fun with this bro sis whoever's watching <laughs> All right, uh.